guys, can you feel the energy? Can you feel the electricity? Can you feel the excitement? The buzz in this arena is absolutely nuclear. We are going to see some incredible action, some scores to be settled, and some people getting beat up real bad. We've waited long enough. Let's get this thing started. Singles action coming your way. Don't move. We have a great match coming up next. We have a real fan favorite versus a formidable opponent. You don't want to miss it. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Young Bad Boy. And from Tennessee, weighing in at 215 pounds, Chase Owen. I'd like to thank everybody for spending a portion of their Halloween with us here tonight. Next year, guys, I'm thinking the three of us should come in a theme costume. Perhaps the fabulous Freebirds or, dare I say, the Wyatt family. I will never dress up with you. And Corey, I can tell you these superstars are excited to be able to compete tonight on Halloween. Would you stop, Cole? Do you really think these superstars care about a silly holiday like Halloween? The only thing they care about is winning a match.
You can feel the electricity out right through this arena. This is going to be some battle. One on one, mano a mano. Precision. Slam down hard. Double blade pack. He's starting to stumble here. But he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. Hey, you're going to absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes with the territory, and he knows that. I doubt he's all that concerned at this point. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. If you ask me, guys, this match alone is worth the price of this month's WWE Network subscription. Of course, there's other great matches on this pay-per-view card, but for my money, it doesn't get any better than this. I think a lot of people share Corey's earlier sentiment. This match is undoubtedly one of the highlights of this pay-per-view, which Byron is stacked with a series of amazing matches. Yeah, we get to sit here and call all of them. Sometimes I had to pinch myself. I still can't believe how lucky we are. Oh my goodness, crushing it! He's not looking good here. He's not careful. This can shoulders down. He got body on body there, but that's about it. Gonna take a whole lot more. Guys, we've come a long way since the first ever WWE pay-per-view. This was actually the Wrestling Classic in November of 1985. I know a lot of people usually point to WrestleMania 1 as the first WWE pay-per-view, but that was actually broadcast over closed-circuit TV, not paper. When this guy's on, look out. And stomping away in the corner. Just ruthless. Byron, here he goes. To pain. This just might be enough for him to take the victory here. That should do it, Cole. There's no coming back. He's got the shoulders down. And a kick out. Not even close on that one. Yeah, this early, no chance. Here it comes. He's got him. The end may be near. That is a game changer. Can he end it here? Look at this. He's not done fighting yet. Wow. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. We're so excited you chose to spend your Sunday with us. Look at this. Look out! Both of these superstars appear to be operating on fumes here, guys. Back in from the floor. Using the elbow as a weapon. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Going for... Superman! This one's over, guys. The 
shoulders are down. There's the pinfall and the victory. Here's another quick look at some of the highlights. Man, oh man, look at that. Here is your winner, Chase Owen. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. Wow, now that match was a treat. Thank you, everybody, for joining us on this Halloween evening. Coming up, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the most chaotic contests in sports entertainment, and it's right here, next, in a match that will be etched in the record books. As we look up at the title hanging from the rafters, you have to wonder what's going through the superstars' minds right now. I'd have to imagine a couple things. First, they clearly want to be the first one up the ladder. And secondly, they want to do it while almost avoiding serious injury, which is easier said than done.
And of course, quick thank you to everybody watching tonight for spending part of your Halloween with us. And I can see that Saxton got dressed up for the occasion. I didn't realize they made nerd costumes. Fellas, I've been looking forward to this one for quite some time. Beautiful technique. Running Hurricane Rana. Harsh impact. Ooh, what impact. Inside the ring. Vicious strike. Boom. What a stop. Good grief. You gotta believe this one's over. Leg drop. Challenge is starting to falter. Oh, and man. it's so hard to create space for yourself in a tornado tag team match such as this. I know it's early, but if things stayed the way they are, winning this match might just be a pipe dream for him. Oh, right to the skull. Drop kick hits the mark. Oh, man. Beautiful dive. Oh, hold on. One handed. The challenger not looking good right now. The champ clearly getting the best of him here. Guys, I wasn't anticipating this type of performance for him tonight. He's starting to look a little lost in there right now. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, and the ladder finds the mark. Going to be tough to bounce back from that one. Check out Jackson. Takes him down in a major way, too. Champ not looking good right now. Oof. Well, he knew this was going to be a fight heading into this one. Yeah, but if you count him out now, guys, you'd be making a very big mistake. Mark my words. Oh, I'm not sure how much he has left. Check out Jackson. Back inside the ring now. Between the ropes. Wisely bringing the action back into the ring. Earth landing. Watch this here. What's he going to do with it? This could mean trouble. This could be dangerous. The apron. Oh, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really bad. Nasty. The hardest part of the ring. Whoa. Oh boy, he is rolling. He had nothing left. Damn Superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. 
I remember this part very well. Here are your winners and the new International Wrestling Grand Prix Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Earl Phillip Sam and Tiger Isaiah Moore E. Big win here in tag team action tonight. Tag teams beware. These two guys are legit. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. Making his way to the ring from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 220 pounds, Kenny Omega. Byron, I gotta say you... Guys, what better way to start the night off than with this one? I can't think of a better match to kick the night off, Michael. In fact, we haven't even gotten started yet, and I can assure you that this will be a tough match to follow. Action is underway, and in this time, what's going to happen? I just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. So much can oh, go wrong in a match like this, guys, which is why it's considered one of the most dangerous in all of WWE. And he's heading back in. A 
night's not even over yet, guys, and I'm already seeing fans on social media saying that this is the WWE pay-per-view of the year. You know what? I think I agree. Point of the elbow, nailed it. He's starting to show signs of fatigue. He needs to create some space and find a way to get back on the offensive. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. Byron, while Corey's on his phone checking his social media feed, how about you and I finish calling the action here? This has been a heck of a match so far. Wouldn't you agree? It really has, Michael. And like those on social media are apparently saying, this might just be the most exciting WWE pay-per-view of the calendar year. Watching this match, I can't help but think how much pay-per-views have grown over the years. I mean, remember the ones back in the 1980s, which were great, don't get me wrong, but now they've really grown into such a major spectacle. Oh, and it's a reversal. Tackles, ruthless. Oh, come on! How can this be legal? This could lead to disqualification quick. What you were saying before, Byron, was spot on. WWE pay-per-views today really take over the entire city, and people travel from all over the world just to say they were a part of a WWE pay-per-view. Yeah, I actually met fans from three different countries during breakfast earlier today. All of them were here in town specifically for this WWE pay-per-view. Oh, my God! Let's call it like it is, guys. It doesn't get much bigger than this. A featured match on a major WWE pay-per-view. This is huge for these superstars. What a stomp. Good grief. No reverses it. Corey noted earlier just how big this is for these superstars. This is why they choose to get into this business. This is why they spend those countless hours training a match on the big stage. And you can bet all the WWE hopefuls training in the Performance Center are watching this pay-per-view tonight, hoping it'll be them competing on a WWE pay-per-view in the very near future. No surprise that the sold-out signs went up early on this one, guys. Anytime a WWE pay-per-view rolls into town, you can bet it will be the hottest ticket around. Toss to the outside. All right, it doesn't get much more elementary than this. The only thing left here to do is climb the ladder and win this match. Even this superstar can do that. Corey mentioned earlier that the sold-out signs went up fairly quickly for this one. Or as WWE Hall of Famer Gorilla Monsoon might have said, the SRO signs went out early for this one. Oh, man. I don't know if there was an announced pairing more entertaining than Gorilla Monsoon and Bobby Heenan. True legends. He might probably what a knee. Game, set, match. This one is over. At some point, the referee may want to think about stopping this one before somebody gets seriously injured. Look at him here. Check him out. What's he doing? Oh boy, he is rolling. He's up to something. Here he goes. Wow, look at him, guys. Nasty impact. Many would consider this an upset, Byron. Yeah, hard-fought victory for this superstar, but he definitely earned it. 
Yeah, look at it. His opponent. Sore loser. Yeah, but apparently it backfired. That's what you get for not accepting a loss. And now the celebration can begin. Coming right up is a match that can change the course of an individual's career. We have a real fan favorite against an imposing adversary. The following contest is a ladder match. And it's for the International Wrestling Grand Prix Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the challenger from Auckland, New Zealand, weighing in at 220 pounds, Jay White. Here we go, guys. The title is hanging from the ceiling, and we're ready to get this thing underway. And I assure you that if this ladder match is anything like the one we last saw, it will not be for the weak of heart, Michael. And introducing the champion from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 254 pounds, he is the International Wrestling Grand Prix Intercontinental Champion, Satoru. It's time for our first match of the night, guys, and it looks like we have quite the contest coming up. And good luck to those who have to follow this one. You're going to need it.
Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Oh, what incredible power! Wow, what a vertical suplex! Elbow drop! Pearson. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Guys, a loss here for the champion would be incredibly embarrassing, especially considering all the trash talking I'm told that's been going on behind the scenes. I don't want to reveal my sources, but let's just say there's been some pretty harsh words being tossed around. Big elbow. Irish whip. Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. I don't know who your sources are, Corey, but it wouldn't surprise me at all to learn that the champion has been a little cocky heading into this one. And there's nothing wrong with that, Michael, especially considering just how dominant the champ has been of late. When you're that good, you have every right to bow your chest out a little bit. Reverses that one. Close line! Right in the back of the neck. Gets him with a reversal. A lot of people are saying the champion has never looked better, but that doesn't mean we can't see an upset here tonight. Double axe handle smash. What a stop. Good grief. Oh boy, he is rolling. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. As Byron was talking earlier about the champ being a heavy favor here tonight, I couldn't help but think back to the night Santino Morello defeated Umaga for the Intercontinental Championship in 2007. I don't think there was a person alive who thought Santino had even a sliver of hope. Yeah, including Santino himself. But hey, as the old saying goes, anything can happen. He's looking at it. What's he going to do with it? I'm going to be careful not to get disqualified. He's in full control now. This could mean trouble. Off to the outside. Oh, man, he's ready to go. What's he going to do here? They're going to go in high risk. Are you kidding me? Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. Certainly a risky move, Michael. Bringing it back between the ropes. Back in the ring again. Whoa, ladder hits. Jeez, that's gonna hurt. He's got that ladder right where he wants it. Now what? Going to the top here, guys. Looking to finish it. Not an ideal position. Oh, what impact. He's setting up the ladder now. Looks like to me he's got it in the right spot, Michael. He's heading for higher ground to get away from you. Grasping at the title here, guys. Got to pull it down. Hey, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, right? Yeah, but when you miss a shot, you don't usually fall 15 feet. This might be it. Oh, my. Comes up big with the reversal. <laughs> this 
This is what ladder matches are all about. This is it. Look at this. Here he What a clothesline. Ouch. Oh, oh, it's over. He's oh, he's to the face. But he's got to capitalize now. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Making their way up the ladder right now. This is a nerve-wracking situation. Both these superstars appear to be operating on fumes here, guys. Climbing up, guys. Here we go. Oh, boy. Oh, here he goes. Here he comes. Wow. Look at him, guys. Oh, man. Face first. Oh, boy. He is rolling. Gonna try to win it right here. Reaching for it's one thing, though, Cole. Pulling it down, totally different. A minor miracle might be needed to overcome this beating. Taking another look here, you can see how the ladder just introduces a whole other element. Here is your winner. International Wrestling Grand Prix Intercontinental Champion, Satoru. And that's the win. The following contest is a tables match. And it's for the International Wrestling Grand Prix Light Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenger from Blackpool, England. Weighing in at 187 pounds, Zach Sabin Jr. As a reminder, guys, this one-on-one -on -one contest will be a tables match, which is great, just as long as these two know not to use our table. There are plenty of other tables they can choose from here.
and introducing the champion from Japan, weighing in at 182 pounds, he is the International Wrestling Grand Prix Light Heavyweight Champion, Ken. Sounds to me, guys, like this crowd is ready to get this night started. They're not the only ones, Cole. It seems to me that these superstars want nothing more than to get their hands on one another. And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. And the simple philosophy here is to stay as far away from the tables as humanly possible. Sounds easy, right? Wrong. Drop down. Drop kick. Beautiful. Superstars with a vested interest in the outcome of this match. DDT! The challenger's taking on some offense. Oh, man. To Byron's point, there are several competitors on the roster who can make a case for being the next in line for a title opportunity. However, a lot of that, of course, depends on the outcome of this match here tonight. Well, with that in mind, regardless of their personal feelings, they have to think the locker room is rooting for the champion here tonight. The last thing they want to do is to have to wait even longer while the champ's rematch clause kicks in. What are we going to see here? Hung up on a nail. it. Not looking good for the champ here. He comes into this championship match with a full tank of gas and ready for a fight. If he ends up going through a table at any point here tonight, we might be able to look back at this moment as the beginning of the end. Obviously a great opportunity here for the challenger who can't afford to make any mistakes here tonight. Not when you're in the ring with a champion as dominant as this one. the pace of a match quite like this guy. To follow up Byron's earlier point, the challenger has to remember just how rare championship opportunities truly are here in WWE. A loss here could result in a trip to the back of the line. Don't worry, Cole. This isn't the challenger's first rodeo. Everybody knows exactly what's at stake here.
I know anything is possible, but I just can't envision a new champ being crowned here tonight. The champ just comes into tonight with too much momentum. He's making a statement here with this attack. The challenger not in a great place. His hopes of winning this match appear to be dwindling in a hurry. Byron, I agree that the champ comes into tonight with a great deal of momentum, but like you said, anything can happen. We've seen champs get upset in the past. Who's to say it can't happen again here tonight? Agreed. I don't think anybody expected Eddie Guerrero to defeat Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship back in 2004, but hey, it happened. And it's further proof that any superstar can beat any other superstar on any given night. He might, oh, he's in complete control now. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. Irish whip. Hooked up. Exploder. Man, look like it's the champion retains. And here's another glance at these superstars in action. Here is your winner, and still, International Wrestling Grand Prix Light Heavyweight Champion, Kent. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. The following contest is a ladder match and is for the International Wrestling Grand Prix Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenger from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 225 pounds, Natoli. I'd like to thank everybody for spending a portion of their Halloween with us here tonight. Next year, guys, I'm thinking the three of us should come in a theme costume. Perhaps the fabulous Freebirds, or dare I say, the Wyatt family. I will never dress up with you.
And introducing the champion from New Jersey, weighing in at 225 pounds, he is the International Wrestling Grand Prix Heavyweight Champion, Jay Lee Fell. As we look up at the title hanging from the rafters, you have to wonder what's going through the superstars' minds right now. I'd have to imagine a couple things. First, they clearly want to be the first one up the ladder. And secondly, they want to do it while almost avoiding serious injury, which is easier said than done. Superstars coming to this matchup with a lot to prove. Whoa, the ladder hits. Jeez, that's gonna hurt. He's setting up the ladder now. Looks like to me he's got it in the right spot, Michael. face oh, oh, oh man oh what's it gonna be oh what a slam that hurt what a stomp good grief nasty drop quicker than this. For once, I agree with you. Big four. Boom. He, okay. Hey, he, he could win it here. Huge spot in this match right here, guys. This might end badly. Oh, that's the impact. The challenge is starting to slow down a bit here. Yeah. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. He's in full control now. Fisherman suplex. What's he going to do with it? He's in control. Now in full control. Look out here. He's in big trouble. Watch this here. This could be huge. What's going to happen now? Guys, these superstars really do appear to be in peak physical condition here tonight, which isn't surprising considering what's on the line here in this championship match. This can't be legal. Totally ruthless, but effective. A concerned look at the face of the champ. But it's going to take a lot more than that to stop him here tonight. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. I gotta agree with you, Michael. These superstars are in tremendous shape, and from what I understand, the champ has been hitting the gym twice daily in preparation for tonight. I heard the same thing, Saxton. Once in the morning, then again at night after the show, which makes me wonder when the champ actually sleeps. 
Lifts it off. He's too quick for him there. The champ with reason to be concerned. I'd say he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. I've never count this guy out, but I'll tell you what. He's not looking so hot right now. He's really going to need to find a way to get back in this thing. All right, don't blow this. It's not very often you stand alone in the ring with the ladder. Now just climb that bad boy and walk out of here with the win. Nobody's pulled ahead here yet, guys, but as we all know, the complexion of a ladder match can change in an instant. A lot of action in that match. Let's have a look. Here is your winner, and new! International Wrestling Grand Prix Heavyweight Champion, Natoli. Big win here. The following contest is a tables, ladders, and chairs match. And it's for the International Wrestling Grand Prix Junior Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenger from Yamaguchi, Japan, weighing in at 205 pounds, Goldman Superstar. What a great match we have here to start off this night, guys. And Michael, I had to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener. I mean, it could very well have been our main event.
Introducing the champion from England, weighing in at 184 pounds, he is the International Wrestling Grand Prix Junior Heavyweight Champion. It's TLC time, the guys, and this tables, ladders, and chairs Oakley. match promises to be one of the best in recent memory. Especially considering what's at stake here, Michael. With so much on the line, you can bet these superstars will give it everything they've got, and maybe just a little bit more. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. It always amazes me the amount of punishment these people are willing to go through in order to win a TLC match. Believe it or not, though, some people are speculating whether the champ should have to defend the gold against what some are calling inferior competition here tonight. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looked like a twisted heap. Corey, I think you're just trying to drum up controversy. I haven't heard any whispers about the champion having to defend against inferior competition. Yeah, inferior competition? That's nuts. I'm willing to bet the champ started that rumor in an attempt to get into his opposition's head. Either that or Corey's just making stuff up, as you alluded to, Michael. <laughs> oh, man! What a stop! Good grief! The champ's starting to sweat. He's a true champion. I suspect he has plenty of fight left in him. He better buckle up, guys. There's a very real chance he'll be feeling the effects of this match for a long time to come. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. We've seen champions head into matches maybe a little too confident, only to be picked off in the end. And guys, I can't help but wonder if we're going to see that again here tonight. Steiner. A bad place to be for the challenger. Guys, this is where we Man. find out what he's made of. This match certainly isn't trending in the right direction for him. He's going to need a change in momentum and fast. Speaking of champions, heading into matches a bit overconfident, one of the most glaring examples of that would have to be the honky top man's attitude heading into his Intercontinental Championship defense at SummerSlam 1988. We all know what happened to him on that night. <laughs> you are so right, Michael. That was great, of course, though. It wasn't so great for the Honky Tonk Man, who ended up losing his championship to the Ultimate Warrior in fewer than 30 seconds. <laughs> what a form! What a strike right on the mark. When this guy's on, look out. Right to the back. No, he reverses it. He's going for it all. Oh, no. We know what this is. Ooh, brutal body shot. The challenger looking absolutely exhausted in there. The number one contender, you think you can turn this around at some point. I'm not sure he has much left. Oh, what is going to happen here on top of the ladder? Yeah. He can't walk after that attack to the back. Can he finish him off here? I think it's safe to say the number one contender is ready for the champ.
There doesn't appear to be too much movement on the outside, guys. We might just be looking at the winner of this ladder match. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Bang! Look at that. Here he comes. Here he goes. What's this? The champion put to the test in a major way. He might just have nothing left to give, guys. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Incoming. Just a matter of time now before one of these superstars takes firm control of this ladder match. Nothing yet has shown me that one of these superstars refuses to lose this ladder match. Sometimes you can get... Yes! Unreal performance! Well, tables, ladders, and chairs. Do I need to say any more? Here is your winner and new international wrestling Grand Prix Junior Heavyweight Champion, Goldman Superstar. And that's the win.